1997 Jaguar XK8. This is the four litre convertible. As you can see, it's in this lovely, almost British racing greeny, turquoisey, metallic paint um, with a green contrasting hood. And then, which we'll show you in a second, green on green interior. So, if you don't like green, you might as well stop this video now. Um, but yeah, quite a rare colour combination. Personally, I think it looks really, really good. Looks brilliant in the daylight. Does come on this registration plate, that's J4GYT. Obviously, read Jag YT. Start by having a look at the bodywork. If we look down this driver's side, you can see it is nice and straight, it's not full of filler or anything like that. This front driver's arch, or front wing even, all nice and clean. No sign of any corrosion coming through on the arch. And then obviously as you move down on the sill, that seam down the middle, which is the important bit, is all nice and clean. You've got a little bubble just appearing in the front corner here where a stone chip sort of bubbled up. So sort we'll of just see that there. But the rest of the sill, looks to be nice and tidy all the way along. And again, like I say, that seam, that's the important bit. Lovely and clean. Uh, we might as well continue around this arch. So the arch itself, lovely and sharp all the way around. We do have a little bubble just coming through here. Tiny, tiny barely noticeable. Uh, and another couple just sort of popping up there as well, underneath the paint. Coming down the driver's door, that's all nice and clean and tidy. It's not got any scratches around the key area or anything like that. Got one little mark there with some polish in it. Uh, but it actually feels like it's sitting on top of the paint that could polish off, to be honest. Nice and clean on the wing mirror. All good coming up the A pillar and along here. This trim quite often sort of corrodes and looks horrible. We've got a little chip in one corner there. And we've got a tiny stone chip in the center of the windscreen. But other than that, it's all good. The hood, obviously electric hood. I'll show you work, it working in a second. Sheeted glass rear screen. Could do with a really good, clean. Halfords do a... a soft top or a convertible top restoration kit which is like a cleaner a preserver and a sealer for about 30 quid it wants one of those but it's just got some marks where it's been pressure washed or it's had spurred poo or whatever on it but usual places where the the ribs and things are no sign of any stress or wear on that around the screen's all good again on this side same situation it's not been stored down for long periods of time or anything like that that normally kills them and obviously glass rear screen so no dried out rear window to worry about. Coming down this rear quarter, that's all nice and tidy. We've got one small stone, in fact, I haven't, that's a bit of dirt, ignore that. Again, you can look up from this side, nice and straight. Round on the rear, there is a tiny little crack in this tail light, but it doesn't seem to be letting any moisture in. There's no condensation build up or anything like that. We've got a little bubble just in this corner here, uh, and another little bubble just there, same place each side. Rear bumper and everything, that's all nice and tidy. Around the plate and on the boot layer, that's all good. Got a little mark here just from where there's been some bird poo left on. Might just be able to see that on the camera. Uh, but that does look like it will polish off. Coming up the passenger side, nice and straight, all the way up. All good on that rear arch. Nice and sharp all the way around. Good at the bottom. We'll go along that sill again. That seems nice and tidy. All the way at the front. Uh, we've got a little bubble just at the bottom there from a stone chip. Um, but again, nice and sharp on that front arch as well. Rest of that rear quarter, that's all good. Passenger door, we've got a little dent just here. You might just be able to see that. Good dent, man. We'll get that out of you, out there for you for 50 quid. You can just see where it's sort of catching the light there. It's been opened on something by the looks of things. Hasn't marked the paint or anything like that. Tiny little scuff on the corner of the wing mirror. A little stone, oh no, I haven't, a bit of dust. All good coming up that side of the A-pillar. Out the roof from there. And the rest of this passenger wing is nice and tidy. Got a little stone chip just there. Both headlights, nice and clear and bright. Same goes for the fog light in the lower half of the bumper. There's no sort of scuffs or scrapes on that. All good on this front valance. Couple of little stone chips, which are to be expected, 100,000 mile. 25 year old Jag. Rest of the bonnet's all good. There's a slight hazy patch there where it's sort of got a bit of a swirl developing from a sponge. Good hand polish to remove most of that, I would think. And it's got the usual 
you can only just see it on the camera. It's not actually that bad in real life. Slight dis color discrepancy between the bonnet and the front bumper. Pretty much every metallic Jag of this age had that. It almost like it was came out from new. You can only just see it. It's not, it's not major. Certainly wouldn't put me off, but it is worth pointing it out. Moving on to the interior. In fact, actually what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the roof down so we can have a look at the, uh, the interior because it's much better viewed with some proper light on it. So roof down on these is ignition on, fly up handbrake, lift it up. And then here you've got a button, hit that. It will not go down with the engine started and it will not go down if you don't have the um, handbrake on. So you can hear it releasing the rams. And then back it goes. If you look on the pictures, we've got a lovely matching to the interior tornail cover that goes with that. And then it'll bong to tell you it's done. You can knock the ignition back off. So yeah, we've got a lovely tornail cover that goes over that. I'll show you that to start with. It's in the booth. Uh, and it does come with a little leather wallet to put it in. So a nice tornail cover. If you check the pictures, we've got that on for the pictures as well. And then there's the leather pouch that it goes in. The rest of the boot's all lovely and clean as well. A six stack CD player with the cassette still there. Normally they've gone missing by now. All the carpet's set lovely and clean. There's no sort of moisture or stains or anything in there. So this interior, we've got this lovely metallic green exterior. And then the interior is a two-tone, so it's a lighter duck egg sea foamy colour and a nice sort of non-metallic version of the exterior colour. As you can see, this door card, lovely and clean. It's got the Harman card and it's got memory seats, electric windows, electric mirrors. What else have we got? Cruise control, heated seats, air conditioning, six stack CD player, electric roof, steering wheel controls with a foam prep. All the stuff you'd expect from a Jag. So interior wise, this driver's seat's got some wear on the, on the bolster here. Once that whole section recolored, I can give you a number of a good place that'll do that. Nice and cheap these days. The rest of the seat's lovely and tidy. Nice and firm, nothing's collapsed or anything like that. Carpet set's lovely and clean. It's obviously had these mats down from new because underneath is like brand new. And they are proper Jaguar mats as well. It's got the wood pack on the steering wheel, which again, nice and clean. No wear on the coloured section, on the leather section and the wood. Really, really good. As is the wood across the whole dash. Across the centre console, that's all good. None of the buttons have got sort of worn out or anything like that, which quite often happens on these sort of era Jags. Like every XK8, it does have rear seats, but I don't think anyone ever uses them. So these are in lovely condition, as you can see. Backs of the seats are all nice and tidy. These are not stretched or pulled or anything like that. A section that's sort of only visible when the roof's down, that's all nice and tidy. Obviously the tornado sits across this section. It just pops into these little press studs here. Passenger side, same story, lovely and clean on the door card. Both door shuts, nice and tidy. Passenger seat, lovely condition, no real signs of any wear at all on there. And the same goes for the seat back, all good in there. It's got a little mark there where it's been shut on something at some point. Nothing major. Top of the dash, that's all good. All the wood on this side's lovely as well. Interior is very good in this car. Again, it's really unusual colour combination. Big fan of it myself, but again, it's up to you. So this one's got the 4 litre V8. Nice and clean around the strut tops and the metal we can see on this side. Same goes for the driver's side. It was in regular use until it came to us. Um, just Guy just fancies a change. We've sold a couple of cars for him over the last year, 18 months. Gets itchy feet like I do. Starts on the button, nice and smooth. We've got no warning lights on other than it's telling me there's a handbrake on. Uh, I'll tell you what I did miss, which is worth pointing out. From memory, it's got good tires all around. So we've got an Eagle F1 on the front here. A good year on the back, Eagle F1. So two Eagle F1s on that side. Another Eagle F1. And the fourth Eagle F1, so it's got four matching Goodyear tyres all around. They're the correct spec tyre for the car. Again, sign of good ownership. Normally these things have got mismatched cheap tyres all the way around. And again, it's ticking over nicely there. No sign of any smoke or anything coming out the back. So there you have it. Quite a rare colour combination. Four litre Jag XK convertible. Any questions, please get in touch. Thank you.